Alright. So now we're gonna talk about escaping. Davis has more. Very important is to feel what's going on. Okay? From here, okay, when I have this right here, what I'm doing, okay, is I am pinching so I can create a connection. Okay. I can tell Davis has his left arm that he's using, okay, in order to finish, which is fine. Whenever the person uses the left arm, the arm that, not the left arm, the arm that is basically the same side as the head, okay, as the head leg, you're gonna walk your hips into him, okay? Because from here, okay, you can begin to stack him up this way here, okay? As your right knee goes in his tailbone so he cannot extend his legs as you keep pressuring him down, okay? And you keep stacking him, hopefully turning his head, pulling that arm out and pulling it out, okay? So you have to be aware and have a good enough defense to where you can figure out which arm is looping through. Here, it's pretty easy because I can see it. See? You can see them, okay? So what I wanna do is I wanna just pinch my elbows, okay? And it's even easier here because I can rotate my head. If he were to open his knees, Okay, it makes it a little bit trickier and it creates a little bit more tension. But what I'm gonna do is, I'm also gonna cup kind of his elbow right here, okay? Because I wanna be bringing my elbows in. Because from here, see how he rocks with me, okay? So what I wanna do is, I wanna walk my hips into him, okay? Because he's got no base right here, okay? And here you can go up. Okay, and I still have this figure four. Okay, this hand you preferably want across his face, shoulder here, as this knee comes here, so you have leverage this way. And you're gonna turn his head and you're gonna pull that out. Because here, and now, pass. Does that make sense? Okay, so we're gonna do that escape first because. Uh, yeah. Because you have to know both, and they're real basic. Okay? So here, what happens is that I feel, obviously, I can feel it, I can kind of, even if, if even this over, I can feel which way it's going. Because you'll, you'll feel which way the tension is. I just, I know it's this arm here. Okay? And I'm going to walk my hip this way here, but I have to, like, take my elbows and I have to lock them in. Because look, here and this stays as a figure four because even if he wants to start extending my hips I get this in and then I begin to shoulder torque his head as this hand still stays as my head drives his knee to his face and I pull this out okay it's good to incrementally pump it because it's hard to hold on to it okay does that make sense guys Okay, so you're gonna roll and you're gonna stack. Very important, your knee should be an extra support on the tailbone to keep him rolled up. Okay, let's start, one, two, three. And you're gonna walk.